In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to create a rain effect in Adobe After Effects CS6. First of all, generate a gray solid layer using 4D 6175 for the fill and applying the CC drizzle effect on this layer. Now move to the configuration window and change the drip rate to 10, longevity to 1.00, rippling to 1x plus 51, displacement to 0, and spreading to 75. Next, we will expand the light menu, change the light intensity to 65, and light position to 1123, 586. Now expand the shading menu, set the ambient to 61, diffuse to 18, and roughness to 0 0.018. Once done, add the noise effect on the layer using 4.0 for the amount. Now generate a new solid layer using 121C26 for the color fill. Once done, apply an ellipse mask over this layer. Move to the configuration window to set the mask feather to 818.0 pixels and mask expansion to negative 43 pixels. Once done, generate a solid layer and apply the CC particle world effect on it. In the configuration window, expand the grid and guide option, uncheck the radius option, set the birth rate to 0.8 and longevity to 1. Expand the producer menu and set radius X, Y, and Z to 1.5. Expand the physics menu, choose direction axis for the animation, set the velocity to 0.5, gravity to 0.0, .0 and extra angle to 0x plus 280.0 degree. Leave the floor menu as it is. Now expand the particle menu and choose line for the particle type. Set the max opacity to 100%, and lastly, the birth and death color to white. Expand the extra menu and change the FOV value to 35. Once done, move to the particle world effect that we previously applied to the clip and generate a two node camera layer. With that done, move to the settings configuration window and expand the transform menu. With that done, change the position to 798.0, negative 1040.0, Expand the camera option menu, change the zoom to 304 pixels, focus distance to 630, and focus to 7.9 pixels. Now render the composition, and you're done.